I'm going into this um, facility here uh, where they test yeah. all the, the product that we just talked about. Uh, we're coming inside now and uh, we're going to talk to Dalton here. Um, now we're inside the building at Medicine Mill. Uh, we were just outside where uh, Rob Stevenson explained to, uh, what the buildings were all about. Now we're inside. We want to find out um, where they test the product that uh, they're going to grow. All right. So, uh, so Dalton will show us the topping. Step in my lab here. All right. Okay, Dalton. Um, yeah, you can explain to the viewers uh, what this is all about because I don't have a clue. <laughs> so when we get a product in, um, typically we want to make sure that it's not moldy. Maybe not an older bud because CBDs turn to CBNs after a little while. Um, so we want to make sure that when we get a product in, we know exactly what it is, nothing's wrong with it. Um, we detect whether or not there's any mold on it. Um, this is our little uh, black light here. So we put the product down in here. We look through it, put the light on, and when you look down in, you can detect mold spores pretty fairly easy with the black light. Okay. It stands out really nice. Right. Um, now, when... So that product that's going to be grown in those buildings will be coming inside here at times? Oh, of course. Be tested. Yes. So, at, at all times, uh, everything we want to give to the public and uh, for product-wise, we want to make sure it's tested and we know exactly what's in it. You know, um, it's really important to us. We just actually purchased the luminary beacon here, which is from Sage Analytics. Um, this actually detects, detects molecules. So you can detect THC molecules, CBD molecules, um, a whole wild variety of things actually. We can do concentrates, hash, shatters. Um, one right now, so far we've been doing cannabis. Um, we'll be doing concentrates anytime now. Um, that one, this has actually been a phenomenal process. It's fairly, really easy to use. Um, we actually will be able to show the, pro the which product we are sampling on our latest microscope here. People that just go to the street corner, yeah, buy their weed, man. Yeah, go get high and go sit in the park. They don't know what they're getting. Good God, no! Uh, it's really hard to tell because you get ones that will give you a headache, dry throat, uh, coughing, you know, and wheezing, that's and that's kinda... really typically not what you want. Um, mm -hmm. That's the last thing you need. When you go and buy off the street. Uh, from and just any local dealer, right. um, yeah. it's really hard to tell whether or not you're going to get what you're looking for. Now, they haven't put any effort into or caring whether or not you have any needs, right? Mm -hmm. So what's what we're trying to prove here is that, you know, there is people that need help and once we know what the issue is, we can kind of work with people on how to break it down to a science that people can understand that it'll help them. Again, you said break it down to a science. This is science. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, it's not just you just don't pop a seed in the ground and bum yeah. it's up. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of this is yeah. the next level. That's for sure. Right. Um, we're yeah. trying to show people exactly that, you know, it's not just a plant that can, you know, have any extra. Um, I, I want to say characteristics. Um, you know, there's lots of things that you know smell and display can't show you. Now that's what our tab our our lab's helping us break down the molecules, make sure mm -hmm. that everything's actually THC, Delta 9, which is a psychoactive component that we look for, that, you know, that's the psychoactive component that everybody's looking for, right? Right, okay. And we can also test for other uh, THC, so which is uh, tetrahydrocannabinolic acid, which is, you know, it's normally known as THCA. Um, it right. doesn't have any psychoactive effects. Right. Now, typically, we want to, you want to, you want, people that know if there's psychoactive effects or not. So we can test exactly right down to the label mm -hmm. on exactly how much THCA, tetrahydrocannabinolic acid, and delta-9 THC there is. And now we break it down to a potential THC to 21.7%. And uh, this was called Real Scout Cookies. Right. Uh, so. Well, I can I kind of explain what our process is. Um, so, once we get a, a sample in, a product in that we don't know anything about, we bring it in. Now, say we have a quantity of a pound, which is, you know, 453 grams. So, we, we try to find the buds throughout the whole pound. Not the same, not just try to grab, you know, a nug that's three, three grams. We just try to find about three grams throughout the whole pound and we bust it all up together. So you're combining the whole, you're trying to find an average of yeah, how okay. much THC is in yeah. all of the buds, right? The first plant. So once we busted it up, 
We bring it over here. We bring it over to the stage. Of course, usually I'm wearing gloves and everything's a little bit more sanitary. Um, so we bring it over. We load it into the luminary beacon here. We load the product in here. Now, that's a special sapphire lens there. Helps them concentrate on finding the molecules that they're looking for. Right, okay. Um, so, once we pack the product in there, we cap it off, we shut her down, and it's as simple as following the process as letting it do doing its calculations. Now, after every calculation, we wipe it down with the alcohol, we let it dry, we sanitize the whole machine, um, we let it sit with the alcohol dry. And you get your next product right. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> so yeah, that's simple as that. Huh? Dalton, have you any final words that you'd like to uh, say about this and medicine wheel? Well, for anybody that's looking to do any information on something like this, you know, we're always willing to help. Anybody that is out there and looking to do this on their own, we definitely encourage it. Especially Native tradition, uh, it's a traditional medicine. We try mm -hmm. to per just try to push that, you know, as a people, as a strong soul. You know, you got to push what you believe, right? And we believe that, you know, marijuana was uh, medicine long before drug was a word. You know what I mean? So when, you know, people, politicians try to label it as a drug and stuff, that's not correct. Well, that, that's the point of this whole dispensary, or it seems right. to be is uh, heavy on medicinal, heavy on helping our people. That's right. That's what I've always said, uh, you know, you know, marijuana has been a medicine long before drugs even been a word, you know. So. Well, it's been in our culture for centuries and a long time, long that's time. That's right. So, you know, yeah. we have that right. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> with that, Gary Wasikizik, Real People's Media. Miigwech, miigwech, miigwech.